Hey, this is Jeff Blake. Welcome to Bookmarks and Acrobat. This is part one of a multiple series on Bookmarks Inside Acrobat. And the reason why I'm breaking this up into multiple tutorials is because there's so many cool things to show you with Bookmarks Inside Acrobat. So let's get started. You may have heard of bookmarks, you may have used bookmarks, I don't know, but I find not enough people are making use of this feature in Acrobat. So I'm gonna take two seconds and show you how to use this. Well, maybe a little bit longer than two seconds, but certainly not very long, because it's really easy stuff to do in Acrobat. So you are gonna need a PDF file. Open up a PDF file, doesn't matter what PDF file. I've got a sample chapter from one of my previous books here open. And what you're gonna need is your bookmarks panel open. So look for this icon over on the left-hand side of your screen. Go ahead and click on it. Or what you could do is you could go up to your view menu down to navigation panels and look for bookmarks. You'll find it there as well. And this bookmarks panel should open up on the left-hand side. Now to explain the concept of bookmarks, it's sort of like hyperlinks. Like we're gonna have this list of links inside this bookmarks panel. Well, a list of bookmarks really. And when you click on them, it's gonna take us to different locations inside the PDF file. It's very, very cool stuff. Imagine like all the way down this left-hand column, we're gonna have this interactive clickable table of contents. Imagine something like that, right? All right, so here's how it works. It's unbelievably simple. As a matter of fact, there are two steps to creating bookmarks in Acrobat, just two steps. Step number one, set up your screen the way you want it to look after the bookmark's been clicked. So for example, I'm just gonna grab my magnifying glass tool here and zoom in on the area that I want my first bookmark to take me to, okay? So step number one, set up your screen. Step number two, Go to your options menu in the bookmarks panel, right up at the top there, first command, new bookmark. Boom, that's it. Step one, set up your screen. Step number two, options, new bookmark. Give it a name. Hit enter or return, bang, there's your bookmark. Easy stuff. Now, if you are a little bit paranoid like I am, I wanna make sure that this sucker actually works. How do I do that? Well, what I'm gonna do is zoom all the way out, change your navigation somehow, go to a different page or move around a little bit or do something, right? Move around a little bit, go back to your bookmark inside the bookmarks panel, try clicking on him. If he takes you back to the same spot, you know he worked. Easy stuff, easy stuff. I'm gonna do that one more time for you just so you can see how this works. So, step number one, I'm gonna set up my screen. Step number two, options menu, new bookmark, give them a name. That's it. Give it a quick test if you like. That's all there is to it. All right, now a couple of other things I wanna show you to kind of speed things up here a little bit. I'm gonna go and create another bookmark. I'll zoom in on the area that I wanna bookmark. Of course, you can always tweak it and set it up exactly the way you want. Rather than doing this whole options, new bookmark thing, I'm gonna use a keyboard shortcut. Control B on the Windows side, Command B here on the Mac. Boom, new bookmark. That's all there is to it. It's the easiest thing in the world. Again, though, I wish more and more people would make use of this. Now, another way to create bookmarks, perhaps an even faster way to create bookmarks, is step number one, set up your screen. I'll go and find a spot here that I wanna bookmark. Okay, step number two, this time, I'm gonna grab my select tool, grab this guy, and I'm gonna highlight some text and then go options, new bookmark. Now, I'm not gonna do that here, but go ahead and do that on your own, and what you'll find is that the text that you highlight automatically gets listed in as the bookmark text. It's very, very cool. That'll really speed things up for you. Okay, a few other things I wanna show you. I'm gonna zoom all the way out, head back up to the top of my document here. There we are. What about the order of these bookmarks? This will actually drive you a little bit nuts. 
you'll find that the order of your bookmarks here is not alphabetical. It's not chronological. In other words, it's not in the order that they appear in your document. They get listed in the order that they get created. I know it's bizarre. I wish there was a way to sort them too. Like, wouldn't it be great if you could sort them alphabetically or whatever you want? Would be great. Anyway, the only way to sort these guys is manually. You heard that right. The only way to sort these guys is manually. So in other words, check this out. Let's say, for example, I want defining Dreamweaver sites. I want that to be at the top of my list. So here's what I do. I grab this guy and I click and I drag him up. Now notice that little arrow that shows up right in there, that little triangle. Pay attention to where that guy goes. If he winds up on the outside of this column of icons, if you will, I'm going to change the order of the bookmarks. I'll show you that one more time. Just drag this guy up, see how that works? Now, if that triangle appears on the inside of the column, something like this, I create what we call a nested bookmark. And now I can create almost like a bookmark structure. Now, that is extremely cool when you have documents that have chapters and sections and subsections. Or imagine like military documentation or legal documentation with all the sections and subsections and subcharters and all that kind of junk. Anyway, so when you're dragging, make sure the black triangle is exactly where you want it, either on the outside or on the inside. So there's a nested, nested bookmark. You can go as deep as you want, but be really careful. You don't want to go too deep. All right, so one final thing I want to show you here. I'm going to close out of my bookmarks panel. So as I mentioned at the beginning of all this, not too many people know about bookmarks in Acrobat. So you've gone to all this work, bookmark the heck out of your document. How are people going to know to go and click on this icon if they don't know about bookmarks? So here's what you do. Head to your file menu, go down to properties, or of course you could hit control D on the Windows side, command D on the Mac. Look for your initial view tab. Click on initial view, and here's what you do right here. Mine's already set here. Navigation tab, bookmarks, panel, and page. Make sure that guy's turned on. Click on OK. Save your document, close it, and reopen it, and it'll open up exactly like this with the bookmarks panel open. So there you go. There's an introduction to working with bookmarks inside Acrobat. I hope you dug it, and I will catch up with you in part two of our bookmarks tutorials. Take care.